the American Academy of Pediatrics has come out against the use of corporal punishment. The message that we want to try to convey uh, to a child is not that the child is bad, but that what they're doing is undesirable. And, and the, and the uh, use of spanking, I think, goes over that line. They we're both very uh, sensitive to the fact that life with young children can be very frustrating. I think the parent who's with the kids uh, most often gets very frustrated, and I think parents have to realize that's going to happen. That doesn't mean they're a bad parent, but they do have to develop ways of, uh, other than spanking, of handling the situation. And I think everybody, everybody who's been a parent um, uh, would have to admit that they've thought about hitting their child, you know, no matter how, how they're actually acting, how the parent is actually acting, <coughs> they've definitely thought about it. It can be incredibly exasperating. The younger kids, the, the toddlers, maybe up to three years old, um, first of all, they are the kids who tend to get spanked the most compared with the older kids. Um, and the recommended uh, strategy for misbehavior in that age group is what everybody knows is called a timeout. The learning of the child that you're giving the timeout to is not an instantaneous event. Um, these children have pretty limited impulse control. A two-year-old cannot understand when you say, you wouldn't like it if that happened to you. They have no ability to put themselves in somebody else's place. So the words you use are uh, few <laughs> and direct, and then you take action by doing the timeout. An older child, you know, they, they have a much more, uh, much greater capacity to listen. And Most kids, almost all kids, really, uh, if you say to them, you, you, can't, you can't do this here, you're disturbing everybody, uh, when you, if you want to run around, we'll uh, we'll go to the playground later and you can run around all you want but you can't do it here. Most kids feel that that's a reasonable uh, request and uh, a limit uh, setting uh, and, and they, they will comply. Um, in the few cases that they won't, they can, they can be removed from the situation, um, they can uh, be told uh, that um, they will lose something that they care about if they continue. Um, and I've also uh, heard and uh, seen it work where a parent will say, okay, that's one, meaning if I get to three, then there's going to be some consequence uh, of this behavior. Okay, that's two, and then, you know, they start to believe, the kids usually start to believe. They, they want to please, they don't want to lose whatever it is they're about to lose and it just generally works. Uh, when there's undesirable behavior, a parent has to explain to the child what they were doing that the parent didn't like and uh, why that's not a good idea. And the learning takes place, again, as Dr. Greenspan said, over time. It's probably not a one-time uh, learning event. So parents have to be patient. That's their job. It's part of their job.